Last week, we designed and began building a computer desk. Mom sanded and restained the log lights while Dad continued building the island cabinets and painted. Once the cabinets are set in place, we decide to change the paint color. Stay tuned as we continue on the kitchen addition to the main house and the gaming desks. We got these two log lights over here. Garrett's going to shave this at an angle. Um, I don't know if it's going to be up on the ceiling or not, but at least it'll have the angle so it'll give the illusion as if the tree going up and out of the house, coming back in, and this hanging down, and then this will have the lights. So we're going to take them back over and just cut that angle on both ends. This one and then the other one's going to go on the other side of the kitchen. It's going to be fun. They're tree branches, they're just big, thick tree branches or logs. See a pencil over there? Huh. Yes, I do. Where's my pencil? It's over here. You have it? Maybe. I knew it. I knew it. Fabulous cut. I just want to show off my DIY bun cap. We're gonna make our cuts. That's our that's our plan. Whether it actually happens, we're gonna see. <laughs> so this is gonna be uh, a set of two different slider drawers. The first one is gonna be for our drawing screen. There's gonna be a drawer. A place for the keyboard, which is going to be able to come down and come up. This right here is going to be a place to slide back and forth. There'll be a little... Like four inches there. Four inches, and then that's where the monitors will be connected to the deck. So this will be a two-layered cake. Three layers, because we'll have... Oh, that's the true. The keyboard can go up and go down. And it'll be topped that off with fondant and strawberries. If you remember from last week, Bryson had taken all the kitchen cabinets, brought them back over. He now <clears> has them in the paint booth, ready to paint them up. We're gonna do a light sand so that mm -hmm. the new paint will stick. And then we have a new color. I think it's gonna blend better with the rest of the room. Could get the automatic sander out if you want to, Mom. Sure, you might be able to go over faster with the oh, automatic. Yeah? Okay, maybe I'll know. do that. That's uh, fixed. He's, he's recovering. <laughs> They're like, we recommend a soft cone because he's so small. That's what he got, a soft cone. I was a little concerned. I thought he would move it over to get to whatever he wanted to get to, but no, it fits him pretty good. It's quite a neat design, actually. Hi, Chipper Doodle. This is what our tracks are going to set on for our drawer going back and forth. Is it called a drawer? Because technically it doesn't hold anything. What do you call something that's just flat? A sliding tray. A sliding shelf for our keyboard and a shelf Can I get for... To you? Yay! <laughs> that's supposed to rain until later. You can always enjoy rain. I'm always welcome. We pay the weatherman. The weatherman should pay us when they get it wrong. Drawers. Yeah. For the Ooh. cabinets? George, for the cabinets, yeah. You cabinets. better get on the stick because we're on it now and we got Bryson on painting and so we're going to catch you fast so you're going to have to really kick into gear. I am kicking. Kick, kick, kicking and screaming doing my own thing. <laughs> Awesome. These are our pieces. And they go right along the bottom half of the left side. Essentially right here. And then our track is going to be attached to that there. Ah, it's a good thing. Hey. 
the shelf that goes on the left side of the stove and it'll have gliders on it. So it's a moving shelf. The, uh, the island doesn't have any real fancy things, but I did add a couple of interesting things. I have a section to the left that's gonna have a pullout shelf. That pullout shelf is gonna be necessary for putting taller objects, like here, um, whatever it might be. The popcorn maker, for instance, doesn't fit in a normal shelf. So why, why not use something like that? We can easily get to. That's why it has short sides. Right. Get her done. You're like kicking into gear. She's scaring us. Scared me. He's gotta get it done. I'm sleeping on the couch. No, 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 no. <laughs> never. Don't come in the house until they're done. <laughs> so, never with us. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Got most of the supports for the drawers done. Gluing. I drilled a few pocket holes in it and screwed it in. And really, really nice. I love how the pocket drill did the holes so that you don't have to see any of the screws that go in. Is this fancy or what? So let's go see if these supports work. These go on each side of the desk on the bottoms. That work, doesn't it? Yep, absolutely. I decided to go with a, a smaller sprayer than I used last time. I thought it would be easier to get into all the cabinets and stuff. I should be able to keep up with the air compressor with a smaller gun. I thought I would use this guy since I'm not painting anything too big. We may have to open up the bigger air compressor. Enough room for we it? We might have enough room to add that. I think so. I'm going to add it. I think it's a gorgeous color. I really like the size. When it got to some of the bigger locations, like the side, it did get a little monotonous, but eh, it's still worth it to use the little one. I Call it good. All right. Compressor. I have a feeling I I might need the other one. Obviously. There's not much to paint, so maybe it won't be so bad. I'm leaving you a couple coats. It turned out to be really nice to use. Nice. Nice coat. I'm using too small of an air compressor. Okay. I thought that by using the smaller spray gun, I could use the smaller air compressor, but I can't. Back to the big one. <laughs> the big one is really far away, so we have to run this line all the way there, and I was like, no! My paint's drying. Got it all set up. There's two kinds of connectors, air hose connectors. There's the kind of the older style and the newer style one. And we have a mixture of all of them, so it's really hard to get the right ones for the right hoses. And, oh, it's a puzzle piece, I tell you. How's this thing go on your noggin? It's all like this. Oh, top of your head. And this goes over the back. Like that. This is really weird. I've never worn one of these. There, I feel like a painter now. The bigger compressor is definitely a okay for this. There's our color. And it's a very nice feel compared to this. This is very rough. If you could feel it, it's so smooth. Compared to this, you could even hear it a little bit that it's not quite smooth. But wow, what a difference. That is a really nice feel. Feel. It feels like a tractor. It does, it feels like a tractor. Just painting the insides. It's hard for Bryson to get in there and get in all the corners with that little gun, so. You thought, well, let's do this by hand. Plus, I'm in the house and it's warmer. It'll be nice having this inside too because we'll want these nice and soft too for wiping out. It was gonna put paper down or something. Now I won't have to do that. All right, well, I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Have fun.
Mom and Bree both went into town. I thought what I would do is work on the desk. We gotta make sure he's perfectly square because we need to make sure that our drawers will slide. This is my pipe to tell me the real truth. Do an outside measurement. I need to find some two by fours. It's gonna be the piece that's gonna hold the, the PVC pipe to the top of the desk. And I'm basically going to cut it to fit inside this circle here. I better get sawn. I got a lot of them to do. That's a round circle if I've ever seen one. I still have a bunch more of these to do, but I thought that I would test out the drilling method and attachment method that I'm gonna use to attach them to the desk, which is out there. I'm gonna use this cool little tool, but it's used for basically making screw holes that sets the screw in deep enough that it isn't gonna go through our plywood on the desk. With that right there, that's gonna go right there, like so, and then screw down. No longer home alone. Man, I didn't even have to fight off any bad guys or anything like that either. Nice. This will be attached to this. It's right in here. Oh. And it can't go anywhere. You know, it's That's all locked great. in. Isn't that great? Mr. Satellite Dish, the bucket head satellite dish. All right, sit. Wait. Okay. With Bryson having just painted the island cabinet, because I know that the oven cabinet's also coming over, so I'm hustling to get all the other pieces, like drawers and doors and things like that, in the paint booth, so when Bryson brings the oven cabinet over, we can get everything all painted at once. Spatial arrangement. Uh, I'll be in the center here with the spray gun, and I'll be painted. I got the big one done completely. It took me a while because I also painted the inside. Oh, thank not you. Not the top. Of. I'm gonna go see. Okay. I'm very excited about this paint. It's the auto paint for one thing, and it really works well. Bryson did a fantastic job. Well, I'm very excited. It looks gorgeous. Man, this is just beautiful. This paint was a perfect idea, and it, it only came in a few colors, and it was just the color we needed. And I love the texture. Actually, the lack of texture is probably the better idea. It's really nice and smooth. Feels like a professional cabinet. One of my original goals was to have this, not flat as in color, but a flat, non-textured, no paint lines, like a shiny car. <laughs> Are you happy now? You got in front of that camera? Are you happy now? <laughs> This is one half of Bryson's beautiful side of the desk, and this is the top part of it. There's a few little pieces that came up while he was drilling, and I'm just gonna fill those in with this wood filler. And then when we sand back over it and stain it, there won't be any little dents like that in there. So I'm gonna sand down the top of it just with a nice, nice sand. I'm gonna get that done. These pieces here, they're going to go on the cabinet so I have something to attach to the top of the countertop. Well, okay. A little bit short on one end? Yeah, I cut them twice and they're still too short. Now it's time to start laying this out, cutting this hole. This is the template that I'll lay over here, draw the circles in, cut the circles out, and then we'll pick the cabinet up and work it in. Are you putting those plumber skills to work again, Dad? Yes. Stepped off higher. So it'll be above the cabinet. So let's do this. Now I need to drill. This stuff is still wet. I don't know why that's not going through all the way. This bit's so dull. It's this piece. Oh, I'm sorry. We having a well, actually, it's a drill bit issue. This hurts my face. Wow. I'll get the drill for you. That was that was the most out. painful holes I've ever seen drilled in all of my life. I concur. If you can't do it perfect, it's not There's worth doing. Really? Problems. Yes. Oh. Wow. That leaves me out of working and stuff. 
I didn't say that. No, I did. Did you hear me? I did. Did we decide on a new tool, Gare? Well, this tool does the bigger circles. That might be a scroll saw, but when I scroll, that's all I saw. <laughs> that was pretty good. But you got it. <laughs> what? It's not a scroll saw. It's a saber saw. Both he and the saw can be pierced right together. <laughs> oh, that's mean. I'm sorry. What did you say? Here, thank God. <laughs> what? It's a saber saw, saber tooth tiger. If you have to explain it, isn't it kind oh. of a bummer? Well, I didn't hear and you. Not what everyone you thinks about the lines I think of. <laughs> you build them just to tear them apart, Dad. <laughs> Yeah, that one there. Yes, sir. Yeah. There's a lot. I'll scratch the side with it. We may have to do this together. So the feet are not the... Try not to bust one of those off. Not bad out for of a ten. guy with two feet. Installing this one here is like the keystone of an arch. Usually you put the keystone in last. This keystone had to go in first because of the plumbing and the electrical. I had to get everything arranged around this so that I could get this one piece in and then everything else will come up next to it. Hopefully it's at the right angle. Yes, it is. I worked on that. How about up there? Pointing down. Ooh. She's a chair. Get a chair. Nah, she don't need no chair. I'll hold the chair. We need a chair. How's it look? Is it totally Thanks. dope awesome sauce? It looks beautiful. Good. There we go. It's going. I'm gonna frame it in there. Huh? It is framed in. Yeah, but it's not framed in by dad. We'll go frame it? No, I trust you. Okay. Boo, ah. sit. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Sit. Can you sit? Ah. Good, Good girl. girl. Good girl. All right, Bri. Lock. Specially picked blocks from the stack of 40. These four need to be perfectly squared because it needs to be good enough for us to roll this stuff back and forth. So Bryson has tediously measured these out. We went ahead and installed some of the pipe holders on the bottom of the desks to hold the pipes in place. Next week we are going to install the rest of the little buttons and work on hopefully the next desk as well. Yeah, suspending them by wires and uh, little eyelet hooks. We just drill into the wood and into the rafters and support them with wire. And that works fine. They're not that heavy and the wire's perfect for that. And then cutting the ends off of the fixtures that we have, because they were plug-in type fixtures, snaking that through, stapling it down, and then hooking up to the power source. I love those. The shape and the, the whole look. Before Christmas, I wanted to have those up and we didn't get there, you know, but now they're up and I'm excited. It's you good. Don't it, it matches well too, don't you think? Yeah. You got that look you were looking for too with that trees coming out and yeah. coming in like that. Yeah. That's fun. It's different. You don't see that and we like to have something unique. I just love the log lights. They're fun and, and unique. Yeah. Yes, it looks amazing. It's all like solid now. Oh, very cool. Wow, this is gonna be quite the kitchen. It filled up a lot of space that needed filling, you know? What are we gonna do with all that cupboard space, Brie? Fill it up. <laughs> It may not be of kitchen stuff, but we'll fill it. <laughs> I like the shape of it, and I think it, it fits really nice in that spot. You did a good job. It makes it more exciting getting a kitchen soon. Yeah, real, real kitchen. Real countertops. Yeah. That wraps up this week. Here is the merch design of the week. If you'd like to pick this up on a hoodie, t-shirt, apron, all kinds of fun stuff over in our merch shop, the link will be down in the description. We are now over a hundred Patreon supporters. It blows our mind. We want to thank you so much. Some of you have been supporting over two years now. We really appreciate your financial support and sticking with us. So we just wanted to say that too. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for being a part of our family and we look forward to seeing you next Friday. Bye! Be a bummer. Sure, ruin your day right there. Oh, I ruin your day. Let's see you put them in. All right, get those suckers in there, man. Beautiful lemonade. Ganache. On top. Don't they say ganache? Oh yeah, ganache. They say ganache. Okay, hold on. Cover it with the fondant, and then let's go ahead and cover that with fondant. Oh, fondant. <laughs> yes, we're doing good. Get our cake oh, yes. down. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. Bye.
We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. There, that's right Focus now. On this. Steve, 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 where are you, Steve? Oh, here you are, Steve. This is Steve. Anybody recognize who Steve is? Yeah, He's excited about the new kitchen color. Okay. He's shaking his head up and down like that. Yeah. yeah. Gary's been wanting to put that in the video. We don't want to let him down. And looking at this kitchen, it makes my head... Stop.